So the boat is finally ready. We have switched officially from Yamaha to Mercury and I'm a Merc guy and I'm about to see this thing for the first time. Fresh white instead of the old gray Yama dogs. I'm loving it. Well, I'm up here at Pro Marine. We're gonna do a walk around on the boat and kind of go over what we've changed. And then uh, we've got about an hour and a half ride boat ride to take her home to Venice because we are up in St. Petersburg right now. So uh, we're gonna get to it, get this thing in the water, and start heading south. And I'll uh, take you guys along on the process of getting her home. Kyle, show us the upgrades, brother. Um, so enlarge fuel water separator heads and they got my name on them yeah like yeah it. um everything's labeled port center saddle tanks and um, then you guys went from three ace lines to half inch right yeah, half inch half inch barbs half inch hose half inch valves nice bigger clean. flow heads bigger flow water separators bowls with the sensors on them so if you get water in the fuel this is the first place you check drain check go okay. from there before it gets into the motor i mean that'll that'll show up on the vessel view yep. vessel this will view if we have water in the fuel it'll alert us since this is the first right. place we'll check just like you would in an airplane these will the water will actually sink to the bottom so you'll see a layer of water on the bottom and then the fuel will be sitting on top of it yep yep cool so, that. looking good um so there's a rigging center these are all up in here they're labeled your rigging centers okay all right, so then there's um, that's where your junctions from your motors yep. come to, and then they go from there to your dash. So Looks just good. so they know where you're at, so you know where they're at. All right, V10s. We got Trip V10 400s on here. There was Trip 350 V8s that were Yamaha. So big difference in uh, what we've done here. And then the dash. The dash looks absolutely incredible. We ended up having to do the black acrylic plate just to clean it up, but it actually looks really clean with the black displays. Really happy with that. So right here, we've got our, for our night vision, our fusion controller for the stereo, autopilot, bow thruster, trim tabs, and windlass, which is your anchor up and down, mercury vessel view, and then this extra controller that's kind of, I should have eliminated this, but I didn't. But it looks awesome, man. Great job couple of things I want to run you through just some locations some new breakers yep. just so you know where they're at in case you need them obviously um, down here new kill switch new diagnostic port in a panel what is it um so it's actually just a, a mercury USB-C no nope. oh, it's a special no nope, it's actually a special mark yeah it's not a it. two or anything dang it no yeah they take that all proprietary yeah all right um did put new motor batteries in you did. All, kept all that stuff the same Okay. But then over here, you're gonna have larger breakers in here. For, okay, those are for the uh, starters or? This is for the steering. Steering, okay. One for each motor that yep. goes to the power of the steering pump. That will really make a truck look small. Wow, what a beaut. Those white mercs on the back look so much cleaner. I love it. Kyle was just telling me on the drive over here, he's like, I'm so excited to see your reaction of what it's going to be like with acceleration and top end because he's never really done a transition from like the Yamaha 350s to the 400 Verados. It's kind of like an odd swap, right? So it's something that he's excited to see because if it makes a big difference, then, you know, it's something that they can promote a Pro Marine for other people who are looking to do swaps. All right, boys, fire in the hole. You ready to rip? Let's do it. All right, so this is a little bit different. Instead of keys or buttons, we just have a one all-star, or you can start them individually under here. So if I just click this button, they all should fire up. Nice. One thing I love about split throttles is being able to spin this thing on a dime. And we have a bow thruster. Really helps in tight situations, doesn't it? It just—you can already tell a difference in the in the. Oh, you guys got it all working on the Simrad too. What's that? All the, the performance stuff, RPM, all the tax, the yep. coolant pressure. Yep. 
never had that on a boat before. You like it? When you're like when you're making runs, it's nice if you want to instead of looking at the little. Screen, yeah, at the vessel nice. view. Yep. So this is like our uh, basically our holly screen, right? So it gives us all of our data. We also have it up here too. And then we got our GPS nav. And now we are going to start a ride home. I'm used to the old. The, oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> a it's little touchy. bit of torque it's there. Touchy. It is touchy. Is there a way, like when you're idling like this, you can adjust, just adjust RPM? Have you seen that on the Yamaha, yeah, the new Yamaha awesome. sticks? Yep. Does it have it or no? no yeah. here, here's one thing's cool too. Sport exhaust off. <laughs> oh! Open those valves up. Nice. Cool That's cool. I like it. I like it. Full control. Enable troll control, engine must be in gear and idle. Oh, we're not at idle. Okay, so then you can hit enable and then crank it up. That's a good way to mess around when you're trolling or if you're just idling through a no wake zone, you can uh, get it like the perfect RPM without having a finicky move around the throttles to the perfect position. And then if I hit the throttles up here, we'll kick it off. Yep, there it goes. Cool. Another way too is I'm always bet when I come into the boat ramp, I just shut the center motor off. Oh uh, yeah. When I come in the trailer too hot. Kill the center. the center. I like it. Good idea. Are we out of no wake now? Nope. Right around the corner. Pretty close. Okay. All right, everyone. A little boat update. We're currently cruising at about 34 knots. 34 knots is about 39 miles an hour. We're burning approximately 14 gallons an hour per engine. So. Yeah, you can do the math. Oil pressure looks good, coolant pressure's there. Coolant temp is healthy. I think it's time for a top speed run. What do you say, Luke? Top stuff too good, yeah, let's rip it. <laughs> All right, here we go, we're gonna hammer down. I saw it peak at about 53 knots, so I'm gonna do the math later, I'll put it here, but I think that's around 60 miles an hour. Before we did the swap, we were at about low 50s for top end. So we've definitely picked up the mile an hour on the top end. The whole shot, I really haven't hammered it out from like a full idle position, but we'll test that once we get intercoastal. But you've definitely got more speed, that's for sure. been running for about an hour and I got to say first impression everything went perfectly smooth we are back on the inside of Siesta Key the sun is setting behind us it's an absolutely beautiful day to boat and we're boating all weekend so I'm super pumped this thing's running great making great oil pressure we're running about 30 or I'm sorry we're running about 4,000 to 4,500 rpm cruising around mid 30s knots to, which is like 40 miles an hour or so but as soon as we get on the other side of this bridge we're getting to a uh, wake zone and I'm just gonna do a whole shot test. We're just gonna punch it off the line to test the acceleration. I mean, these things are so beautiful. I'm so happy with them. Absolute rigs. Look at the sun setting over here. Just an absolutely perfect night in Florida. All right, dude, you ready for the whole shot? Let's take it on home. All right. Right, we're gonna get a complete stop here, or, or idling. We're at like 6,600 RPM. And we're just gonna literally hammer down, throw the throttles all the way forward. You ready? That's a lot of water. Let's see what she's doing for mile an hour. Look, right here. Let's trim it up a little bit more. That is a huge improvement. This boat used to only do like 50 
three miles an hour. So we gained nine miles an hour with the upgrade on the engine. It's not only are they lighter, they're faster. I mean, it doesn't whole shot well. I think it's just because it's a heavy boat being a 42 foot center console. I mean, there's a lot of weight here. I, I don't really don't know the gross weight on these. I think it's somewhere between like 17 to 20,000 pounds if, I'm, if I remember right, but super impressed, super impressed. It's amazing how calm it is right now. Also, I wanted to ask anybody in Sarasota that you know that does upholstery or Fort Myers or anywhere on the southwest side of Florida, hit me up because I need to get new upholstery in here. This stuff's got this weird fungus that's discolored it. It's the original upholstery from 2017, and it's got these stains from mildew and stuff that you just can't get out. And so, unfortunately, we're going to have to put new vinyl on the boat. But if you know anybody, let me know in the comments below because I need some. All right, well, the sun is officially set. And uh, we are running the blur over here. This night vision, help us look at channel markers. I know it's so pretty bright out, but it's always good to use the tools that you've got to help keep a better eye out on things. Especially since the sun's probably gonna set before we get home. But uh, pretty excited. This has been a really special day. I've been waiting for this for months. Really years, because I ordered these engines like a year and a half ago, but uh, they're here, they're on the boat, we're ripping it, everything's running flawlessly. And I'm really excited to take the family out this weekend. Look, you can see the guy on the bridge right here about to go through, he's like kind of hot. He's up there. Nails up there. Fun fact, this is the oldest swing bridge in Florida, apparently. And it's literally the only one I've ever gone through, so it's it's got to be one of the last few for sure. But pretty cool. We have to request an opening because the boat's too tall to go to this bridge. Hey, man, thank you. So what's really good about this night vision right now is the camera's picking up a lot more light than my the camera's picking up a lot more light than my eyes can see. But there's a PVC pipe in the water right here that I normally probably wouldn't be able to see at night so you'll see oh i can see it now but if you were if you were up on plane i mean that's super critical to not hit this pipe right here that could really do some damage well luke and i successfully got the boat home it is now saturday and we're taking out the fam boat today we're gonna have how many people on board today pat like 15 17. 17 of us today so i also want to give a shout out to chad he is from strategy marine he's the one that helped me out with the dash in this thing and then as well as all the guys look at this guy plowing through a no wake zone clearly a boat clearly a rental boat anyways i want to give a shout out to my boy chad at strategy marine he killed it on the dash he's one of my close friends and he does an awesome job he templated it all out i even put like mocked it up digitally came in, tried the template in, and it just looks so clean compared to what it used to look like. So thank you, Chad. Also, thank you to Kyle at Pro Marine for making this process smooth. Anytime you do something like this, you always get your squawks and little nuances that are you gotta figure out along the way, but they did such a clean job installing it. I was pleasantly surprised when we took delivery, so thank you. Well, anyways, here's some footage from today's rip. Hope you guys enjoy it and come have some fun with us. All right, Luke, your first radio call. He's got to open the bridge up there. Let her rip. Black Point Bridge, this is Finn and Tonic. We are about a half mile north of you guys. We're coming in, you can open the bridge. We're south, we're south. Finn and Tonic, I'll be up about uh, six to seven minutes for the uh, 12 o'clock opening. And I'll open the bridge when it is safe to do so. We're up right in the crowd. 10-4. Nice work, dude. First radio call, you didn't do bad. A lot of people choke when they get on that radio for the first time. All right, we're cruising along here at about 56 miles an hour. We're currently burning close to like 90 gallons an hour, which is a lot of fuel, but we're cruising to go pick up the crew right now. Everything's held steady and it's a beautiful day out. And out here,
right, guys, we just got to South Lido. We got the boat tied up, anchored up up here, and then we've got a stern anchor going up to the sandbar. Got a couple friends here and their yellowfin in his skiff. I'll introduce you to them. But other boats are starting to kind of show up around the, uh, the sandbar. We got Jim and his son and uh, full crew today. So it's gonna be a good time. She's looking like an absolute unit. Beauty, this is what I live for right here is boating with the fam. I truly believe that like boating in Southwest Florida is like some of the best boating in the world. It's just so beautiful. The ocean's warm, the sandbars are shallow, the drinks are flowing, the music's loud. It's just good vibes, good times overall. And look at these things, dude. Trip 400 V10s on the back. Loving it. Another yellow fin rolling by. Yeah, there's some ways. It's a no wake, or it's a wake zone right here, but if you go on the other side of the markers, then you have to go slow. So everyone comes faster here and you kind of get some waves, but it's all right. Nothing the anchor can't handle. All right, guys, this is my buddy Colton. He's out here in his yellowfin. What do you got going on over here, bud? Yeah, yellowfin 26, uh, twin 225s. Nice. Uh, just wrapped it gray, actually. It used to be white. But really? Is that got, a wrap? Yeah, we got tired of it yellowing. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's, know it's, it's a wrap. light gray now. You can see it right there. Yeah, no, I see it. Platform. Wasn't it gray last year, though? No, it was, it was white until about three weeks ago. Okay. And yeah. then we got my buddy Daniel here. How's it going? He's been shooting with us. Oh, yeah. He's got his skiff and his doggos with him today. How's she running? Running great. Uh, yeah. Still got a few things to fix on her, but she runs great. Yeah, but so, you're a you're a boat you're a yeah, boat mechanic. So, so I mean that, but that means I I neglect my boat the most. So <laughs> everyone else. I like every, doctors never go to yes. the hospital when they're sick. Yes. Yeah, right. same thing. It, I just emptied the water out of the bilge. So actually. since you're here, would you mind figuring out some stuff for me? You know? Yeah, let's go. I know go. you're every day off. Actually, but. I uh, I think I, I think I brought my power probe with me, so we can Perfect. go. We can go Perfect. Perfect. Figuring it so, out. So I'm gonna stay in the sandbar with all the. Family, if you could get to work, yeah. that'd be cool. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll help you down. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, okay. you here. Oh, no. So another big difference going from the Yamahas to the Mercs is these are four-bladed props, and if you can see, this one is counter-rotating or counterclockwise, and then these two are clockwise rotating, and that way that the boat is balanced out. If they were all clockwise rotating, when we'd plane out, the whole boat would list to the right. So, you know. It's good to have one counter rotating and oddly enough, it seems like the counter rotating engine seems to have the worst issues with lower units. Anyways, on the older Yamaha Merc. So we'll see how this one ends up doing. We are pushing a lot of weight, but you know, with any engine and transmission, you tend to have problems over time. So we'll see how it plays out, but this is it. This is the 42 Yellowfin Fin and Tonic. We got the Yellowfin logo, shout out to Wiley and Colton. They helped, uh, their family helped develop these boats. And then we got my logo, we got the Cleeter logo, and then the Freedom Factory logo. And then my parents have a restaurant called Fin and Tonic in Sarasota, Florida. So we got all the companies on the boat, you know, we all represent and support each other. It's kind of fun that we did this touch. And the wrap is inspired. It's got a uh, American flag that's kind of shadowed on the front. It's kind of hard to see, but there's an American flag with stripes, stars. We got the stars on the bow kind of leads into some stripes and then it kind of fades into like a blue tie-dye. I saw this tie-dye on like a guy's shirt and I was like, holy crap, that's like the perfect combo for the boat. And Project Prime did this. Project Prime does a lot of media for Garrett and like uh, designing like artwork and I mean video production, the whole deal. So they slapped the wrap on for us and did a killer job. The boat looks great. Super stoked about the new Mercs. Tons of boats, busy day out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen boats just at this one little sandbar. So pretty cool. Tons of stuff driving by. Everyone's hanging out, throwing footballs. It's a great day. Dang, Grant. Can't hide money. <laughs> My buddy Grant Talkie lives here in Sarasota and they got a sweet concept with Trip 400 
Starbird Racing engines on the back. He's going to tie up to us on our Starbird side. Come hang out. Hey, I'm going to put this on YouTube, so I hope you hit it on the first time. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to? Hey, do you want me to do it for you? <laughs> you had it, dude. What happened? There it is. Dial. So we got Grant here in the concept. We got these guys tied up in the Freeman. So we got. I got my bow anchor off. We got one stern acre. We got Grant tied up to me. These guys are gonna tie up in the Freeman as well. Are those V sixes? Yeah, uh, inline sixes. They look kind of small. Yeah, not gonna lie. You see the V tens on there? So I've got the V tens. Grant has the Merc Racing V or inline you sixes, race them home, right? Our They're inline sixes. Yeah, inline six supercharged. Yeah. Are these hybrids? Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got the hybrids. No, but really, these are the old Merc Racing inline sixes versus the V10 Verado. So quite a big size difference here. So this is you, and this is the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> All right, so we just dropped everyone off at dinner, and uh, I should have recorded it, but I didn't. But find up on Qualified Captain. I'm putting it out there now. I completely deserve it because I ran aground at idle in front of an entire restaurant of people. It's the first time that's ever happened to me and I left with my tail between my legs because it was I was pretty stuck we had a, a freaking jet ski had to pull me out but I'm putting it out there because I'm honest and open and if you guys see it on that page just know that I am fully guilty Luke's been he, laughing he, at he's me he's ready he's ready to take it on and I'm he gets taking all it on about it, I'm, but I'm just putting it out just there just let it be if you boat long enough you will understand I felt like a complete idiot out there but uh Hey, stuff happens when you're out there, and luckily, we didn't get high and dry when the tide went down. We were able to get off. We're headed home, but I did scratch the skag on the center engine. The props are okay, thank God, but the skag is scratched. It's straight, but it's scratched. So, whatever, guys. Uh, you can make fun of me as much as you want in the comments below, but that's it for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. We'll see you in the next episode. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty, get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.